We're broadcasting from b and Spank Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Leveland Burns snuck out of Leveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. Well, they were based in Leveland, Grim. I can completely understand the move. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Hot two, hot And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Still by jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. <laughs> left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Stakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. You've got to love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. It's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. down and 10. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay 
Ray waves to the deep, and he's off to the races. He's at the 30. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a sawbuck riding on this asshole. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? First down and three. Roid Rage, because if you can't answer your question, but oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Rage ran with a ball and didn't fall out. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Now normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. down and long. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off. He's got the distance, and the kick is gone! The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And here comes the extra point attempt. And the easiest play in the league, and he 
chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. four-yard pick up there. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Third down and three. <laughs> Two-yard run before he stopped. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, with a brutal hit! That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue! You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue! My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk! Your father was a very smart man, Rex. Very smart. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. <laughs> First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. First and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. It's so big that the last time. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. 
second down and six. And with another pick. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Hey, man. You see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was a freight cord of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... I forgot my point. Don't do Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. down and the punter is warming up. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. And it's first and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their peak of Wow! It's like a blood mobile crashing into a slaughterhouse! He's at the 40. The 30. The 20 could go over! Yeah, never mind. And the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and... You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Shave a few days off his life. Second down and two. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown!
instincts here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he sinks him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Scary movie. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Got crushed. Second down and seven. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. You know, they say the first cut is the deepest, but damn, the rest were just as painful. Razors win by forfeit. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...